Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Total War Rome 2 playthrough, playing as the Sassanids on very hard difficulty. This is Empire Divided and today what we're going to be doing is moving on with the Fury of Verethragna towards Aktau and hoping that there isn't a huge army here. We have the movement points to do it this turn, so let's go ahead and do so. Advance! Our path is blocked. So the army actually isn't very big at all, which is really nice to see. Let's go ahead and destroy Aktau then, which will hopefully destroy the Dahe. As soon as we haven't had a battle in a little while, let's go ahead and fight this on the battle map. So they've actually sallied forth. We're not going to be fighting them in the settlement. Let's go ahead and start the deployment while it's dry. And we'll have a look at our forces. So we are very heavy on the cavalry side of things. we got loads of dudes. Mercenary step cavalry here. We have the mercenary Sarmatian light cavalry. We have person horse archers. We have the eastern scouts. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Right, I think what, first of all what we're going to do is create a screen with our infantry for our skirmishers. So let's make that a three rank line. I think that will do. Then we'll have all of our skirmishers just tuck up behind them. Gear stuff. Actually, we might have them a little bit further back just in case we get charged through the front by cavalry. But I'm going to turn off their skirmish anyway. And I'm going to put them all into a group. We'll put them into a formation group so that I can control them in that formation. We'll have our heavy cavalry move to the left side. I'll have my other cavalry on the right with my light cavalry here with my ranged cavalry. We'll put those into separate groups. What are your orders? Orders! Battle group ready! There we go. Job done. Let's uh, start the battle. So the first things first, we want to see if they're going to come towards us. I'm not sure if they are. That looks like they're just chilling at the moment. I do have step spearmen. Those will match up to my Sasassian levy spearmen, I think. But otherwise, they have a lot of cavalry. So we're going to have to deal with that. Meanwhile, though, I'm going to start to move forwards with my infantry. And uh, we'll start to move up. My cavalry is on the flank. So loads of units. Let's get uh, this unit ready to go. I don't want to get them too close because I don't want them to engage my cavalry. But we obviously want to be close enough that we can do our maneuvers once our infantry arrives. So let's just speed it up and wait for our infantry to reach the front line. Looks like they're sort of changing their formation a little bit as we are coming at them from all flanks. Splitting their army there. They have a small force on this side to intercept my heavy cavalry. They have Sarmatian Light Cavalry over here and the Step Nobles. That's fine. How close are we to them with our infantry? Not close enough. Let's uh, carry on here with this infantry. We want them to engage this before we engage them with our cavalry. We can continue to move our cavalry closer though. We are being hit by missile forces over here. The step slingers engaging my general. It's not what I want. Alright, let's just pause it a sec. I'm going to have to stop these guys where they are. Summation Light Cavalry going to be charging through my front line. Okay, time to get involved. So these are all horse archers. We'll get two of my units to attack one horse archer and two to attack another. Then we'll have the actual cavalry coming in and attack the rest. 
My Sassassian Levy Spearman took a lot of a charge there, but uh, we killed off those horsemen quite nicely. Get these cavalry in there now. Nice. Cavalry engagement went relatively well there. We have managed to pretty much surround these formation light cavalry with our missile forces, so they're dying very quickly. We did get charged here by summation light cavalry. Let's get some Dalimite cavalry to go and help those. I'm also going to engage here as well. Nice. I'll have my general just flank all the way around the back, I think. Okay, let's get my missile forces to engage their general here. Alright, let's just charge into the back of this engagement. He's a cataphract, so they'll do tons of damage in a rear charge. Nice. The battle is turning in our favor. Make sure we're targeting their general here with the ranged forces of our horses. And we need to have these lot all move forwards and attack now. So let's go ahead and do so. Doing tons of damage to Sarmatian horse archers there. Demolishing them. Right, now we just got to kill off their leader here. Looks like we're doing plenty of damage to their horses. I'm going to break off my leader just so that he doesn't die. I don't want friendly fire to take him out. The enemy general is dead. Okay, a couple units of eastern scouts there taking quite a lot of damage. But I think we're good. We're going to charge into these step spearmen here. They're shattered. Okay, looks like that's job done. Wow, that was pretty efficient. We'll win the battle there for a close victory. So we only really took damage on our Eastern Scouts in the end, which is really good. Those are very easily replaced, so not too concerned about that. Alright, so... We have a few options down here. We have the Occupy, Loot, Subjugate, and Raise. Actually, Subjugation might be a good choice, because I don't really want Tactile. And I believe Subjugating would just make them my Satrapy. I think Subjugation would be a good choice for sure, because then that means I can free up the Fury of Ver Verathragna to like come down back towards Palmyra, which is very nice indeed. So we'll do that. We'll Subjugate them. Completely forgot about that option. But that works out quite nicely. We fight for you, my lord. And peace negotiated. And that secures our northern border. Fantastic. All the while, what we're going to do is just march back towards Palmyra. Which is in a very bad state right now. You can see that they have lost a lot of their settlements. Uh, Samosata was taken by Armenia. Midia's been doing work up here against uh, Lydia. So we're in a pretty good spot, honestly. If we jump out to the strategic overview and we go to diplomatic status, all the blue and yellow is ours. Very tempted to take out Quarazem here while we're around with our general. That might be a good idea, actually. Let's have a look at what their sort of strength is like. Now, I'll bring over the Fury of Verathragna towards Quarazem and uh, we'll attack them, I think. Like, if I declare war on them anyway, I think my satrapies will go to war with them, so I might just do that. Let's declare war. 
Greetings. Now speak plainly, for we are an honest folk and value honest in others. I would offer them to be a satrapy, but instead we're just going to declare. And uh, I'll make them the war target. Great, right, so that's going to give Margiana, Bactria, and also our armies down here at Sakistan something to do. And we'll leave the AI to sort out public order and all that good stuff. I think that's a good choice. Maybe we won't even need to use our army over there to uh, attack uh, that nation, but... Uh, Either way, that's everything done for this turn other than spending our money because we do have quite a lot to spend. I'm just going to check through my provinces. Upgrading the port at Harmosia might be a nice idea. The harbour gives us lots of cash. It does increase our food and, or decrease our food and give us more squalor. We don't need a military pier, however, as... Uh, this is not the sea that we want to be building ships on. We want to be building in the Mediterranean, really. So we're going to go for just the normal harbour for now. I think that's good enough. Add Judea. We can probably do the same at Tyros. Get a harbour here. Or we could upgrade the shrine. That might be a good shout. If we get the Tower of Silence going, we can fix the public order in this province. The cultural differences are a problem. The cultural difference is actually solved better by the Royal Sanctuary which gives us the wealth from learning. Let's go for that instead. Nabatea at Petra. We would go for the Royal Sanctuary here as well since we are losing five public order per turn. I think we're going to have to wait on that. Atatu Matu, same deal. I think what I'm going to do is get Cartier to actually roll into this province and start the culture conversion. I'm also going to recruit an agent here to start changing the culture at Petra. So let's get a dignitary. This guy has cultural conversion and extra civil administration actually. Yeah, he's definitely the best. We'll have him pop up here and he can start to change the culture to Eastern for us. Brilliant. That's everything. Let's move on to the next turn. Okay, so then there's an army at Hatra. The one of their armies took Samasata. But they were attacked up there as well. Okay. Khorazm confirmed as a target and ships at the port. Trading ships from a distant land have arrived at the port. The foreigners look like they could use a bath but offer to trade exotic animals. I think we can do that. Allow trade. Allow stay, send them away or confiscate the cargo. I think we'll just allow them to trade. I want to improve my trade income if I can, because we're already relying on it quite a lot. But it definitely looks like uh, Bactria, Margiana, they're all sort of converging on Quellism here, which is nice. I'll have the Fury of Verathragna head that direction just in case we're needed, but I don't think we will be. We are replenishing quite nicely by the looks of things, which is good. The Forgotten Warriors, they are ready to attack Salamis. It looks like they have moved back a couple troops to Palmyra, but uh, nothing that can really threaten Tyros, I don't think. But let's go ahead and uh, attack Salamis and control this province. We will auto-resolve with aggressive stance. And that will be ours. Very nice. Province secured. 
Hmm. One thing I was just thinking, our public order in this province is really low, isn't it? So raising it might not be the best idea because we get the minus 40 from conquest for the next turn. A minus provincial instability though is kind of frustrating. I don't want to be sitting around if I don't have to. Let's just raise it. If, if it causes a rebellion, then so be it. Hopefully it won't. Let's uh, convert this to the village with glassware. We will convert the port. And I'm not sure what I want to build in the last slot. It might be a good idea to get a courier post. Because we are starting to upgrade our trader and stuff. That will reduce the banditry. Our food is okay, so that's alright. Let's get the courier post, I think. Gives us extra tax rate, minuses the uh, banditry, which we're definitely going to have in the province. It's currently 9, so getting minus 2 would be a good idea. And at Tyros, I think I want to save for the military pier, because we need to start getting a navy up and running for the Mediterranean at some point. At your command. Looks like our army, or our general even, all the mids has leveled up. Have a look. I wanted to get the military administrator, so that's what we're going to do. That reduces upkeep for all land units. Very nice. My lord, we fight for you, my that boosts our income a little bit. I do want to take Jura, but I also want to take Palmyra. I feel like maybe I could attack the Vanquishers of the East to draw out the army from within and kill them that way. Let's maybe try that. Depends what that army is made out of. I might have to attack and then withdraw and then bring over the other army if I have to. So they are spearmen by the looks of things. They don't have many ranged forces, I say that. They do have the Peltas and the Skirmishers, but they should be dealt with quite easily by my cavalry. I kind of feel like I should be able to win this, but um, I'm unsure. That's the main thing. Their infantry is way stronger than mine. Let's retreat for now. We'll come back at them in a second. I'm just going to bring over the watch. Into range. At once! Waiting for more orders! Mm, I can't actually attack that smaller army again. So we'll just have to do it this way around. Hmm. If I go for an auto resolve, what will that lead me with? 69%. That could be really risky. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's cancel the auto resolve. We do have some ladders. Might be a good idea, though, to go for some towers. Yeah, we'll get some towers in there before we attack this. And we'll continue the siege for now. Okay. As for our spies, they need to do something. We have Kuria of Palmyra here. We'd like to assassinate her, but uh, we're just going to go for the poison provisions, I think. I revel in destruction. Try that out again. Successful. Good. And he leveled up. Even better. So we wanted the mass poisoning, so let's go for that. What about Parmis over here? I honestly think we should get her to try and whittle down some of the Palmyran armies up here, maybe. 
Like the Legion of the Empress. Let's go for the military sabotage on, on her. Might take me a couple of turns to get there, but worth the wait, I think. Cartier needs to start his administration. We're going to bring him over to the border here. Just so that I can move him over into Palmyra in the future. So for now we'll just have him administration there. We'll sort out the uh, the culture. Uh, we're going to sort out the culture here. We'll just put him onto administration next to Petra. You can see it is converting relatively quickly. Just don't have enough cash to build up the raw sanctuary. That's a shame. Okay. Asim is here. Can continue with the corruption onto Hatra. And Sogdians has already done his movement. That will have to do, I think. Brilliant. The only other thing we could look at is maybe trade. If there's anyone else we can trade with now that we have a trade port in the Mediterranean. There's Bosporo here. They actually really like us. Cultural affinity. Awesome. Let's uh, initiate diplomacy. Speak, my friend, Ask them if they want a trade diplomacy. agreement. And they let do. Us find See how much cash we can get for that. 2,000. Very nice. You many times of Anyone else we can trade with? Imya? Main? Nope. I don't want any of those. Oh, the Gothai. I think we just revealed them, didn't we? A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. They would Be definitely like, like a, a trade agreement. And have a point. Ha <laughs> ha. They're not going to give me two thousand, though. They might give me one thousand. Our ancestors would be shamed if Never even mind. one of your coins was accepted. They were proud, our ancestors. 500 will do. See. Very nice. Okay, good. So we secured ourselves some more trade agreements. We got some cash for the pleasure. That means I can actually afford this temple. Or the royal sanctuary there, which will increase the culture of conversion. Doing well, doing well. Right, that will have to do for now. Let's move on to the next turn. Palmyra is doing a lot of damage there. And it seems as though this army is being attacked on its own. Which is kind of frustrating. And so is this one. We're going to have to have them next to each other. That's a shame. I messed that up. I thought if it was in range of the siege, it would be out in range to defend if the siege army got attacked, but apparently not. Okay, so Xerxes has increased in rank, so is Cartier. And ships to the port, we will allow trade. Household expands. Ex slumlord. We will send that to the pool. We gained embezzler. That's not very good for Arsimis. <laughs> Let's give this guy a household. The extra authority there from the ex slumlord is probably a good idea. I believe that will improve his success in certain actions or maybe give him more cultural conversion outrage populace of Judea I think that will be solved hopefully by the royal sanctuary being finished here I'd also like to enact a provincial edict like taking the extra tax off this province will probably be one we have to do it's fine there at Perseus. Let's uh, just put it over here. We'll get bread and games going. I think that's pretty important. 
at Navateer. I think things will sort itself out, which is good. I'm not a fan, however, of Navateer building up a bunch of armies on our border. That's not very fun. They own the other two settlements in this province. Maybe they'll be my next target. But I'd like to be able to finish dealing with Palmyra first. I've actually left Palmyra relatively undefended. That other army disappeared. So it's time for the watch, I think, to move in here. Actually, let me just uh, break that siege. And we'll use the other army to uh, engage the siege. And, uh, yeah. Guess we'll just auto resolve. Much better chances. 75%. It's good enough. Wow, we took a lot of damage. The watch lost all of its Eastern Scouts, but um, we gained access to Palmyra, which we're going to raise. And Palmyra, their capital, is ours. Alright, let's uh, convert this to a city. We are going to want the shrine, we are going to want the well, we are going to want the courier post, most likely. I'm not sure. Maybe we just make this into an industry centric thing. Could also go for like the infantry camp. And upgrade that here. Nah, it's too, still too close to our homeland to start building military buildings, I think. We'll go for a city centre. And the courier post. Because I can upgrade that that city centre for trade and then have the courier, pay, um, courier post sort of cancel out the banditry. Ready for battle. That's what I'm looking to do. Uh, meanwhile, we'll have the watch sort of travel back towards Sessiphon. Now, before I forget, one of my top patrons actually asked me if I could rename an army after him. So let's go ahead and rename this army because I hate the name, to Schmitty's Commandos. There we go. We fight for you, my lord. My lord. So we're going to move them back to Sessiphon. They will be equipped with better infantry, better cavalry. That'll be very good. Right, we're going to just merge these guys as well. Good. That'll do. Got to get him replenished. It is an honor to serve you. Cartier has leveled up. We want to increase our cultural conversion, so we'll get philosophy there. And that will definitely help out. You get uh, 4.5 cultural influence per turn, which will help this in no time. Alright, Rostam's companions. The general leveled up. So, going for Covert Expert might be a nice idea. It enables night battles on land and at sea. That's very cool, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Covert Expert. And... For our veteran, we want to increase the military training. So let's get the militancy, and then next time we can upgrade the officer, which will give us more morale for all units in the parent army, and we get the extra military training. Ready for orders. I've forgotten warriors. They're going to have to stay in Salamis just so that we don't get a rebellion this turn. So, your command. Hormids can just take a rest. I want hourly patrols. And that'll be fine. Furia Verathragna. I'm not sure if we need to go to Bacara, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure my satrapy's got this sorted. So we're gonna head back towards our homeland and uh, get this army over towards Palmyra. 
Great, we're in a fantastic position. Idanis needs to go ahead and poison provisions. The power of the gin. And he was successful. I have done all That's great. Armis can try against the Legion of the Empress. Sabotage. A most excellent choice, my lord. And she was successful. I have seen it done. Nice. So we just got to keep doing that on the Palmyran armies. We'll allow Armenia to, like, wreck them for us. We can actually trade with Armenia again. So we may as well get that done. My friend, you Thought it would be worth sort of with your checking. And it seems like we can, which is great. Of and they're going to give me 2,000 for and the uh, pleasure. Your kind words and learned debate have smoothed the path. Fantastic. I might be able to put that 2,000 to good use somewhere. Maybe at Azimatu we can get the Royal Sanctuary building. So that we can improve the uh, cultural influence gain there. Good. Can't wait to get uh, many commandos back to Sesiphon and get them out with some serious forces. Because we have a really high amount of income now. Which we will be able to use to recruit and maintain a much better army. Which is... What I'm looking forward to. But either way, guys, that has unfortunately been my time. So I am going to have to leave it here. Next time round, it looks like we'll be finishing off Palmyra with the help of our satrapies. And we will be moving on to Turkey, I assume. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>